Welcome back, Beowulf Nation. It's on Beowulf. Back at it with another video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification, get notified as soon as a video is uploaded. So first off, I've in the past, I've done uh, free monthly giveaways and starting off from here on out, awesome giveaway to be doing monthly. Totally free to enter. You have to be subscribed to the channel, like the video, comment on the video, and with commenting, you wanna get, um, well, let me get where this whole thing is logistics, because now I'm gonna jump in here and there. So, uh, if you haven't heard of Bitcoin, uh, it's a cryptocurrency. So I'm gonna be giving away to one lucky subscriber every month a free Bitcoin. Not a whole Bitcoin, because <laughs> that's crazy. But uh, I'm gonna be giving uh, some Bitcoin cryptocurrency away to a subscriber. Now, how you have to get to enter to do this, you have to like the video, you have to be subscribed to the channel, and then you have to comment the video. And what you have to do is comment the video is you have to have your Bitcoin wallet ID. If you're not aware of that and you've not signed up, the best way to get uh, a wallet set up is to uh, coinbase.com. I'm not being paid for them, but I think it's the easiest to get in there. And you sign up and the whole thing with that, and then you'll see what your wallet ID is for, because each cryptocurrency has a different wallet ID. Uh, Bitcoin's a one, so you want to comment when, what year you subscribe to the channel, uh, comment, you know, a, a comment about the video, and then your crypto Bitcoin wallet ID, and then out of all the videos I post for that month, and that could even be past videos um, that would be from, you know, years ago. Uh, I'll pick somebody, and a random person will be entered to... A random person that's a subscriber will win some uh, Bitcoin and you'll see it in your wallet uh, ID and you don't have to use Coinbase. I'm just giving something a little easier with it, but it has to be a Bitcoin wallet ID. So I think it's a really cool thing to do. I've done some pretty cool other giveaway giveaways in the past. If it goes from like a life vest or a wetsuit or a, I gave away a sign or a Dennis Rodman photograph. Um, and I've done gift cards. I just think this is easier because then there's no logistics of shipping stuff and uh, it's real easy to do. And I think it's a big thing to do, giving away some free Bitcoin to, to a subscriber every month. It's just a cool thing to do that I know a lot of people on YouTube are not, YouTubers aren't doing that. And especially too, primarily it's jet ski videos. I'm expanding out the channel to be, uh, expanding the channel out to be doing other stuff then just jet ski related stuff, but I know no, none of my uh, uh, competition is doing what I'm doing. And I like to give back. So uh, if, you're, if you're not aware of what Bitcoin is, Google it and you'll figure it out. Maybe I'll talk about it in a future, future video, but I did give a sneak peek on my Instagram post, uh, in my Instagram stories about that. So if you haven't gave me a follow too on Instagram, it's I am underscore Beowulf. And um, I have an Amazon store too. You can check out at amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. And then I have a I am Beowulf merch at I am Beowulf.com. So check that out. Well, welcome back, Beowulf Nation. It's I am Beowulf back at it with another jet ski video here in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina. Right before dusk, I checked the water temperatures like I think at 50 degrees. Has to be, give or take, maybe 56 degrees out. Once you get over here, it's like the temperature really dropped. Get out and get a little rip. I was looking at the wave height. I think the waves right now are about four feet tall. I think on Tuesday we'll have this app that really can play out of uh, sensors of what's going on in the ocean. And Tuesday, it's going to be 10 foot waves. My gosh, man, that's crazy. 10 feet, look how big that boat is. That's a dually too. There's more people here today. It's, there was no wait, but there's definitely more, more boats here. I'm not gonna be weird. sitting there. Whew, that Merle's in that public boat landing. I think it's the only place that's open in the area. All the fresh water is flooded. I'm gonna be filming out with the drone in a couple days. Look at that guy, he's probably dumping dead fish. All that stuff, yep. Right where I'm going, feed the shark. What is all on that boat? One thing that sucks when it's a, technically it's the winter here, not only most places, but when you rinse your gear the day before, it's still wet. And the next day you put, put it on, my helmet's all wet, gloves are all wet, my wetsuit. Luckily, I have more than one wetsuit, so 
This one's been drying for a couple days and it's still wet. <laughs> no, so anyways, the reason why you want to squish your ride in the ocean, rinse all your gear, is because like there's like especially in your helmet, you salt away or something like that. Again, all that stuff is on my Amazon store, Amazon.com slash shop slash shop Baywall. But the reason why you want to rinse all that off is because it can all fall apart. I had a helmet fall apart where I was rinsing it, but not that good, and like. The little fasteners, the guys. Pelican coming through hot. It went bad, it fell apart. Which is still a good use helmet. You use some like stick on Velcro or something, but yeah, you want to rinse everything. Get all that salt water off. But just rinsing it with water is just not enough. Man, it's just nice to get out here. I almost wasn't gonna go. I was gonna film a whole different YouTube video today, non-jet ski related, and then I'm like, man. He had to get out and come out and ride. And it looks like a storm's coming through. It's supposed to rain all tomorrow. It's supposed to be really warm. It's crazy as one part of Myrtle Beach will be almost 80 on Saturday. And here will be 67 degrees in Myrtle's Inlet, which makes no sense, but it's with the forecast. The weekends, I don't go out. It's too many people. It's not worth the headache. It doesn't matter what time of year, I just don't go out. I don't like, it's just when you get all these crazy people out, so, avoid that. Oh, look how cool that sunset looks coming down. Just like how I like it. Best lighting. Except for this, it looks like a storm's coming through. The crazy thing I was filming last night, making a video, riding, and two F-18s flew over my house earlier in the day, and the two F-18s were flying this way, going south right on the coastline literally when i was putting the jet ski on the trailer and i had no type of camera and they were a pretty decent height where you could have seen them but they're just in, two of them flying down south so and i heard them flying overhead again today means they're probably going to be heading back this way again in a pattern who knows what they're doing rather than no wake zone let's let it ramp final rock and roll it's ready
love it. I'm up on my plaid, bitch. I'm decked up on blue bills. And I won't stop until the cash pit look like fall leaves in the backfield. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull. Quick to save my peace, I'm so after school special. She brainy, but them jeans looking like paint. I got a blessing. It's talk a whole lot, no one damn wet. It really can't press us. I notate it on leaflet. I'm really up a few levels with it. Like way, way up the way from a can't see me, you can't meddle with us. In my Earl Grey hood, brunched up with the cheese eggs and a dumb face. No stunning shade, still turned up. Then had it pop in in broad day, that's Ivy. Flower child from the sun rays, but I run fade, got a punch drunk. My providence, they don't love us. They're gonna treat us like an animal. They wonder why we on eight. Escaping shit, I'm up the cannabis. Middle fingers in tandem, going tantrum. Yelling f 12 with a big smile, young phantom. Hi, mom, I'm on camera. But coming live from the mud pit, we don't take post me for granted. I plan to keep it stress free, live and die young. I leave it on the canvas. I split up some with my bed or have a trade day like it's a holiday. My sh on dumb flame to the wheels kill. I'm on road rage. Yeah. On dumb flame to the wheels fall. I'm on road rage.
feet are free. As soon as I get water splashed in here, my feet are cold. I'll definitely tell you the last thing I said that. Do not go riding when it's super cold out, unless you got all the right gear. Because I tell you, you fall off and you have to swing that in. I mean, you, even if you got the wet suit in, you, you get you get cold real fast, really, really fast. Man, it was windy too. My helmet kept on like moving. I was trying to get really low, and I could just feel the helmet getting like dragged, moving my head around a lot. Uh, for this place, this is. This, I have to say, is one of my favorite places to ride. It just gives you a wide different surrounding of looking stuff. And it looks just so cool here. I mean, being that I've ridden on the West Coast, the East Coast, the Caribbean. I mean, the Caribbean's really cool uh, that it's how clear it is. But again, it's only salt water riding. I really like to get back in the fresh water. But like I said, all this flooding, once you guys see this video, it's going to blow your mind away. There's houses, there are all islands, um, just crazy. It's, it's sad that um, people have to be dealing with that, especially too, it's, it's warm during the day, and because it, it is technically, I'd say winter here, not like where it's snowing, but it does get a little cold at night, and I can't imagine these people taking like kayaks, or boats, or who knows what to get to their homes. And then when it's cold, it has to just be miserable, and they got pets and all that, just, man. I feel their pain. Seriously, feel their pain. Feel their pain. I'm slacking on my uh, skills. You see, I get this all done before I get to the dock because of how many people are here. And it's been really, really uh, treat me for a treat of having nobody ever here when I come to the boat ramp. But again, it's, I didn't want to get used to stuff like this because it's not how it normally is. Maybe hit 54 hours. That was a fun ride. It was nice seeing a couple boats out there. That one boat was just flying away. Like, and he was by himself too, right before dusk. Like, where is he going? Where is he heading? Usually, I don't see. When I come here at this time, I usually see boats coming in, not boats like, where are you going, sir? Where are you going? And it smells uh, really fishy here after the, whatever they dumped. And I just, this is a fishing spot. All day long, the only people coming here are fishermen. The only time I've seen jet skis here are jet skis to come fish. I was sore this morning, and I'm like, I was like, should I go three days in a row riding out here? And I'm like, what the heck? Who cares? Oh, look at, oh no. I was gonna say, it sounded something loud coming in. Uh, that's a pretty low point. I was like hearing it, I'm like, hey, it could be flying in formation right now. I think that's just a commercial plan for uh, airlines. It was the same path yesterday. That's a good workout though, going out there, I can tell you that. You feel it, you feel it in your body everywhere. Thank you. Yeah, it's crazy, I'm completely soaked. It's like I jumped in. I couldn't even imagine being out there when there's over 10, 10 foot waves. Cause you imagine you jump it, you're dropping down 10 feet. I wouldn't recommend that with the jet. If you care about your jet ski, don't ride and stuff like that. Just wreck it. But if you don't care, and money's not a problem or anything, do what makes you happy. But you know, most of the time when I'm out there, there's there's no backup. There's no nobody coming to come help you out. And even those boats, it's just yeah, just be. I got a beacon I carry in my gear bag. It calls the Coast Guard helicopter. But that's in Charleston. It's an hour and a half away south of here, and it does take some time for them to fly in and yeah you could be spending a couple hours at least floating around in the ocean swimming and that would be one thing when it's daytime at dusk at night would be yeah that would be scary i think it'd be scary sitting out there in the daytime floating around swimming nighttime would be like how would they even see you <laughs> i do have a uh, glow stick i'll have to do this whole video showing all my gear stuff i definitely got i passed for like every situation that would happen yeah last one here I, like i said too if you got stranded out here there is no backup oh well, take it back there's one trailer hidden back there so if you're new channel hit the subscribe button assisting subscribers 
hit the bell notification you get notified as soon as the video is uploaded check out the amazon store amazon.com slash shop slash iron beowulf check out iron beowulf merch at ironbeowulf.com and remember be mighty and stay strong